Thank you, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Representative Grant, we have uh, hurricanes here in the state of Florida. Is there anything uniquely situated about architects here dealing with that natural catastrophe as opposed to architects coming from other areas of the country that may not have to deal with hurricanes? Representative Grant, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'm sure there are some unique experiences that they have, but I would suggest that the, the sciences do not change and structural, uh, the, the, the strength of the structure does not change whether you live in somewhere that uh, it deals with hurricanes, tornadoes, or earthquakes. Further questions? Unique experiences that they have, but I would suggest that the, the sciences do not change and structural, uh, the, the, the strength of the structure does not change whether you live in somewhere that uh, it deals with hurricanes, tornadoes, or earthquakes. to talk about it and I'm not going to be the legislator who came from uh, 1800 homes businesses impacted five years ago and saying well if this happens again um, we think you're covered but you know hopefully they'll come in and perform this service that they are doing voluntarily um, thank you I, for your answers to the questions uh, I, I really feel that given the state of the law in the state of Iowa the lack of lawsuits filed against uh, architects for engineers anywhere ever um, there is really no need for this bill in the state of Iowa, the lack of lawsuits filed against uh, architects for engineers anywhere ever. Um, there is really no need for this bill. Further questions on the amendment? Senator Bennett, you're recognized. Thank you. Senator Bogdanoff, maybe you could explain to me, I really don't know why, but why would you want to have anything in statute that would require whether it's a state or a local government or an agency to pay a higher price for any services rather than go to the most competitive bid. Is there some reason you would like them to pay a higher price? Senator Bogdanoff. Thank you, Mr. President. There's absolutely no um, guarantee, and this is not putting in statute, that you pay a higher price. What it's saying is that when you're dealing with certain professions, what you would want is you want the highest qualifications. And although price is a consideration, most governments will go to the lowest price unless you give them the opportunity to negotiate on other aspects. It's kind of like saying that you're going to shop a doctor and take the cheapest doctor versus the one that might be most qualified. Is there better for a question? I guess what I'm trying to understand, for example, when you went down and bought that jacket and you determined that you were going to buy that jacket, wouldn't you have liked to know if they were going to add a design fee on top of it and you would like to know what that was going to cost you when you bought it? 